ESL One Cologne, the ninth CSGO major, begins next week on Tuesday the 5th. And I'm kicking off my preview slash prediction slash analysis in prepare, preparation for the tournament by doing a series of videos where I'll do one video each day, previewing each of the groups, how I see it breaking down, who I think will get out there. And then for each day, I will also produce a storylines written article. So if you go to the description box below, I've got the written article for group A, which is five storylines covering the teams, the players, and just what I think will be the most interesting aspects. And this video now, I'm gonna break down the actual group itself from an analysis and an analytical point of view. So <clears throat> group A is the one that features Astralis, who finished top four at the last major. It features CLG, who finished top eight at the last major. Gambit and Dignitas were the qualifiers. And so, first and foremost, this is the easiest group in the whole tournament. It's an incredibly easy group. It's one of the easiest group I've ever seen in the history of a major because of the factors. Like, for example, Astralis has no Kirby, who's one of the star players. Instead, they have to have Glaive stand in because of the situation where Kirby had already qualified for the major, well, the qualifier for the major with Dignitas. And so they've had to pick Glaive, who wasn't in the pro qualification process. You've got Dignitas. Okay, they've gained Cage and B, but they've lost Kirby, their best player. So that team's weakened. You've got CLG. They have no JDM. Instead, they've got Cooster, big downgrade. They've got Peter instead of Fogley because the fifth player mix-up happened. And then you've got Gambit, who had Waylander before, and they looked fairly dangerous. Now they look a bit less dangerous with Spaze. So every player, in th every team, in theory, is weaker than you think of their name being in terms of past results and past accomplishments. So this group's actually fairly weak. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through some of the matches and how I see them happening. So the first match is the, the Danish derby, the rivalry of Astralis and Dignitas. Now, obviously, this gets a lot sexier in as much as Kirby left Dignitas to Astralis but can't play. So Astralis themselves are using the stand-in, which is Glaive, a player who hasn't been around the top team for a long time, three years, basically. Dignitas, on the other hand, have gotten Cajun B, who probably wants revenge on Astralis, but look a bit weaker than the, Astral than the Dignitas that had Kirby in did before. So obviously pick ban is going to be very important this time around. So if we think about Astralis, Astralis, at least with Kirby in the lineup, had become best map was basically overpass. It was very, very hard for people to beat them on that map. And it had always been one of the best maps anyway for Astralis, but they'd really, this has been the one that had like emerged as like by far the best in the Kirby era when they've obviously been on a down downswing of overall results. Mirage was still pretty good. And then they had a bunch of maps that were just solid. Again, they have a pretty deep map pool, the Astralis guys. They have Train, they had Cash, they had Dust 2. The only ones they didn't really have is they didn't have Nuke, which they haven't played yet because obviously it's a brand new map. And then Cobblestone which used to be their old permaban. They tried playing it a few times and that hasn't worked out for them. So there's only really two maps that they can't play or don't want to play. Now, obviously bringing Glaive in, though, means that they don't have the same, necessarily the same routine on these maps and is deeper map pool. So that's going to be the key part coming to the Dignitas matchup. And so as a result, the bans are actually pretty spread. Like Astralis bans Nuke, they ban Cobble, they ban Train, they even ban Cash. So they ban some of the maps that they're good on train and cash, but depending on the opponent. Now, that's going to be significant when we get to Dignitas, because Dignitas in the Cajun era, best map at the moment, believe it or not, is Dust 2, actually. Now, previously, before that, their best maps were Mirage, Overpass, and Cobble. In this era, it's like Dust 2, Cobble's still in there, maybe Overpass, they've even played some Nuke, Mirage is a bit lower down, that's dropped a bit, and they're a team that also has banned a number of maps. They've banned Cash, Train, Dust 2, Cobble, four times each in the Cajun era. So again, they're gonna do it based on opponent. Now, it's sad that their Mirage has dropped off a cliff and that they've lost a bit more on, on Cobble, so it does feel like Overpass for them is emerging as a new map they're interested in, which is gonna be obviously interesting against Astralis, who are the masters of it. So taking into account that we all know that MSL does some funky map vetoes, we're going to imagine he goes by what I think the strong maps are. <clears throat> so remember the format in the majors is that you both ban two maps and then the randomizer picks one from the last three. So with the way it's gone so far, with the fact that Dignitas has been willing to play Nuke, they went one-to-one -one on it at the offline qualifier, and with the fact that Astralis has never played it, even when they had Kirby, I'm going to say Astralis bans Nuke because Dig should float it. Dignitas, I think, go ahead and ban Cash because it's a map they were banning a lot as it is. It's a map that they didn't do well on with Cajun. They lost a phase on it. They haven't played it very often. Still a, a decently strong map for Astralis. Astralis have only lost it in the Kirby lineup to NIP. So I think it's a pretty solid pick to say that the guys from Dignitas ban Cash. 
Now, I think Astralis bans Cobble because it's historically been the be one of the best maps, a specialist map for the Dignitas guys. And you've got to add in the factor that it's a map that so far Astralis hasn't won since Kirby joined the lineup. So I think that's an obvious ban for them. Dignitas now, this is the tricky one. What do they ban? I think they ban Train because actually Astralis has looked pretty decent on the map. It was actually a reasonably strong map for Astralis before they got Kirby, even though they often did used to lose on it in like deciders, etc. But to good teams on the map, admittedly. Luminosity, NIP. So you've got to go back and you've got to look at the fact that what else could Dig want to get out of there? So, okay. Um, if not Train, then here's the thing. Could be Mirage, but in theory, even though they've lost it a bunch, you feel have to feel like Dignitas at least is still willing to play that. They have played it a bunch. Do they ban out... Let's see. I mean, they could ban out Dust 2, but actually that's something that, again, like I said, on paper is actually their best map at the moment, just in terms of pure wins. Obviously not their best map, actually. I don't think they think of it as their best map. So I think they'd be willing to play that. And likewise, it's not like a super amazing map for Astralis currently, even though it's more of a pug map. So I think that the guys from Dignitas just ban train here. So the randomizer has an option between Dust 2, Overpass, Mirage. Now, interestingly, all three of those maps have a decentish history over on the Dignitas side, except that Mirage has dropped off a cliff a bit. On the Astralis side of things, Overpass is the best map. So that's what's interesting, is I actually think, believe it or not, with the way it's going to go, that MSL will leave Overpass in and be willing to let this come up in the randomizer. Even though if it's me, the stats tell you you've got to ban Overpass against uh, the guys from Astralis. Problem is, if he bans Overpass, that means it's going to be Train that's in the mix there. So it'll be Dust 2, Train, Mirage. And obviously, Dignitas aren't going to be confident in their Train. It's a map that they actually don't play. And so as a result, there would be two of the three, which would be Mirage and, and uh, Train, which would be really bad for them. And Dust 2's not super duper good, but even though it's reasonably good. So if I'm if I'm MSL, I probably do just gamble that Overpass is in the mix. And then if it comes up, at least I can play it. So I think Dust 2, Overpass, Mirage. Now, in terms of these maps, I actually think that Astralis, even with Glaive, will probably win all of these maps. And if it comes to train instead of Overpass, I also think they'll win there. So actually, in this scenario, I think no matter what happens with the randomizer, unless some crazy spanners thrown into works in terms of Astralis's bans, I think Astralis is going to win this first match. They're the stronger team overall. And I think actually having no Kirby, it's not going to make them as much firepower as they had before. It'll even it up a little bit. But when you consider the maps that are going to be played, Device, Dupree, and Zyrix are still ballers. Device and Dupree especially, still very strong players. And so I think that the Astralis guys are going to win that match and go to the winner's bracket match. Now, the other matchup, and what an incredibly weak matchup this is to have as the first game in a group. Because CLG are the worst top seed. So CLG plays Gambit. <clears throat> now, this is going to be very tough to intuit because obviously we don't know what CLG is going to be like with this new lineup on LAN. So I'm going to have to make some guesses here. I'm going to mainly go from the Gambit side and then guess roughly for CLG. So... I think when you think about Gambit, okay, so we know Cash is the best map probably. They're pretty good on Cobble and they like to play it. And Train is the other map they like to play. Beyond that, they've got a very weak map pool. Those are the three maps they want to play and are going to go towards any time they get a chance. So then you've got to look at the fact, because unfortunately Inferno was one of their better maps, it dropped out. Overpass has always been their perma ban. Dust 2 is a reasonable ban that they do sometimes and they don't necessarily want to play it. And Mirage, they play it a bit, but they haven't lost, they haven't really won it. So... You get into this scenario where I suspect that Gambit will start out with a Dust 2 ban. It's not a map they play. It's a map that in theory, you know, NA teams, especially NA teams that have got two new team, two players in, are going to want to play to some degree or be willing to play. So Gambit, you just get it out there. I think now, if CLG are intelligent, even though in the past they've had some decent cash games, I think you look at Gambit and you've got to eliminate the cash. That's the biggest threat. So you should ban cash here. Gambit, then I think, will ban Mirage because it's a map they've lost quite a lot. It's a map they don't necessarily want to play. And you think of the old CLG, that was one of their better maps. That was actually their long, for a long time their map that they could upset teams on. I think it's an obvious ban to make from Gambit. So I think CLG at this point, you've got to ban Train if I'm them because we know that they liked Cobble with the JDM lineup. Train's a map that obviously is the third best map for Gambit. I don't know that you want to play this personally. So I think the randomizer will be Nuke, Overpass, and Cobble. Now, interestingly enough, of these maps... I actually think that if it comes overpass, even though it's not necessarily something you think of as a CLG map, I don't think that would be that impossible to win on. I think oh, Nuke and Overpass actually give CLG a chance, even though I think Cobble, I feel that will go to Gambit. And I think that Overpass has a decent chance for Gambit too. 
All in all, I think that Gambit's going to win this one. I think CLG looks very poor with Kooster in the line. I mean, I, I can't say that they look at right. I think they're going to be very poor with Kooster in the line because if you're replacing JDM, who was the primary star, an amazing player, at least for an NA player, and Kooster hasn't shown as much on LAN, especially not as a primary AWP, then you've got to add in that it's basically all on Tarek's back. They've lost Fogley, who was very serviceable, and had a decent support player style. Gambit, on the other hand, okay, Adren's fragging pretty well. Mu has his issues against tier 1 teams. CLG doesn't seem tier 1 to me. I and mean, I think he can certainly go head-to-head -head with Kusta. And Adren... Oh, I've already said Adren, I think. Adren's fragging very well. He's the best player at the moment. And Dosia is definitely as good as whoever the third best is on CLG. I mean, I guess at this point in time, you'd probably say Cutler, right? Dosia is better than Cutler, at least in 2016. So I think Gambit wins that one. And we end up with Astralis Gambit in the winner bracket final. And Dignitas has CLG in the lower bracket final. So, okay, let's imagine these matchups. So... If Astralis plays Gambit in the upper bracket final, I think Astralis goes straight to the Cobble ban because they don't want to play Cobble anyway. It's the map that, for obvious, remember, this is the best of one still. It's obviously the map that they don't play much, and we know it's a strong map for the Gambit guys. So Astralis gets Cobble out there. I think Gambit has to ban Overpass here because Overpass is so strong for the guys over on Astralis. Meanwhile, at least with the Kirby, meanwhile, it's their do not play anyway. It's their perma ban. So I think that's an obvious ban for Gambit. Now, I think Astralis at this point should ban Cash, even though they're all okay on it, just because it's not their best map. They've got a lot of options here, and you get out what's on paper the best map of Gambit. I think Gambit now, my my intuition is that they ban Dust too. Like, they don't want to play that much themselves anyway. Obviously, it's not the best map for Astralis, but it's going to be decent for them, especially with players like Device, who we know are, are, can be monsters on that map. So I think we end up with a randomizer of Mirage, Train, and Nuke for this matchup. Now, if it comes Nuke, that's just crazy. Like, who the fuck knows what happens there? So I would just go with the skill and say Astralis will win that. If it comes Train, it would be very interesting. I think Gambit certainly can battle there, but I still favor Astralis a little bit on that one. And if it comes Mirage, I definitely favor Astralis. So I think Astralis is actually going to win this winner's bracket matchup, win the two best of ones, and go through in first place out of the group. Now, in the lower bracket, I have CLG playing Dignitas. Now, I think CLG will actually ban Overpass in this scenario. I think that's one where you might worry about it against Dignitas. You know they've been okay on it. It's something they've definitely got in their wheelhouse. I think for Dignitas, I think Dignitas maybe does a cash ban here, thinking historically of CLG. So CLG, I think, probably have to ban Nuke, because you have to at least give the respect that if you don't play it and you haven't practiced it enough, at least Dignitas work one-on-one -on, -one on it, even if that's not that great. And you don't want it in there as a randomizer, because you go out the tournament if it comes up. And then I think Dignitas probably bans Train. We know it's not really something they want to play. They're in a situation where it's they do not play at the moment anyway. And, you know, I'm sure CLG at least at the basics can play it, even though obviously the guys from Dig won't have any clue about what CLG's form is going to be like. They won't have seen this lineup play. So I think the randomizer will end up being Dust 2, Cobble, and Mirage. Now, Dust 2 would certainly be interesting. That's one that CLG has a chance on. Still think Digging Task will probably win it. Cobblestone, I certainly think Dignitas will win it, even though the old CLG was decent on Cobblestone. Mirage would be interesting, because I think Dignitas still think they're good on it. That might be the one where I think it's the most open. If it comes Mirage, I think CLG has the best chance there to, of any to win them up, but I still don't think they will win that. I will favor Dignitas for all three. CLG goes out in fourth place. Dignitas goes to play Gambit in the best of three decider. So the best of three decider obviously has a different format. You ban once each, then you pick once each, and then the randomizer picks the third map. So in this scenario, with this matchup we haven't seen in the tournament at this point, obviously, I pick, well, actually, it's not obvious because you can have rematches, obviously, in the third designer, but I pick that Dignitas bans Cash, best map of Gambit. If you're smart, just get that the fuck out of there. Why play it? It's an okay map for the guys from Dignitas. Before they got Cajun, with Cajun, they haven't really shown much on it. So I think you get Cash out of there, which means, this is where it gets interesting, Dignitas's pick now, I actually think that their pick, Bang on Overpass is out, should be Dust 2. It's been a map that they've been pretty decent on. It's Cajun B's famously best map. It's a map that Gambit doesn't really want to play, but they've already banned Overpass, so they can't really do a whole lot at this point in time. So as a result, you pick Dust 2 if you're digging Tass here. Now, there's a caveat to that, which is when we come to the randomizer, this is where you have to worry that the old MSL exists style the pick ban comes in and he just picks Cobblestone, even though that's a strong map for Gambit and thinks so we're just better on Cobblestone, because that's the sort of thing MSL will do. So I'm going to say he, he's smart and he picks Dust 2. I think Gambit then, as an obvious pick, are going to go ahead and pick Train, because it's a map that the guys from uh, Dignitas do not play, now, again, that's another area where MSL could go with the ban on train and leave cash out there to be picked by Gambit. 
which I think would be dangerous, but it is the permaban is trained for digging tests. I just think he has to ban cash to get the strongest map out for Gambit. So I say Gambit gets a chance to pick train. The randomizer is Cobble, Mirage, and Nuke. Now, let's imagine first the two, the two maps. Dust 2. I think Digging Test is going to win that. I think that's a pretty solid map for them against Gambit. I think it's the right pick. Gambit on train. Okay, I think Gambit's got a good chance there. They've got the good T-side executes. But I don't think it's ridiculous that Digging Test can compete there. So Digging Test has the chance to 2-0. Whereas I think Gambit probably has to go to a third map to win. The randomizer, remember, being Cobble, Mirage, or Nuke. If it comes Nuke... I mean, that's very tough. Like, I'm still not convinced that Dignitas is some sick team on Nuke. I'm, I don't know why they risked it myself in the qualifier, but at least you've got to give them the experience advantage slightly there. I think they're a slightly better team anyway. If it comes Mirage, I actually think that's a real toss-up. I think both teams have their issues there. I think that would be a very 50-50 one. And so I'll go ahead and say a slight advantage for Dignitas. And if it comes Cobble, okay, that's still a good map for the guys from Gambit. That's one that actually... It's going to be tough for Dignitas, even though Dignitas is traditionally good on that map. So I'll actually say on that one, if it comes Cobble as a third map, or we're on a third map, I think Gambit actually might be a very small favorite, like 55, 45. So if it comes Cobble, Gambit's going through. If it comes anything else, I think probably Dignitas go through, because actually I think Dignitas can go through 2-0 here. So I have Astralis winning the group, Dignitas in second, Gambit in third, and CLG in fourth. Now, as I said, I'll do one of these videos each day leading up to the major for the other groups and also in the description box below I've put an article which is five storylines for Group A so whereas now I've broken down the maps what they'll play the strengths how I think it'll work out this is more like the storylines so for example one of them is KGB wants revenge on Astralis and they don't have Kirby can he do it this sort of thing